a gloss of Pete Lovasco, gloss of Times Weatherman on this very frigid Thursday afternoon. Our temperatures are in the 20s, and now we're monitoring a monster down south. Well, it's going to get its act together once it hits the Gulf of uh, Mexico. Uh, we sample all that uh, moisture and data from what it picks up down there. We'll be able to give you the exact track of uh, that monster storm that's actually going to bury D.C., New Jersey, possibly uh, New York City, and Long Island. Just south of um, southern New England and Cape Ann, right now, we're on the fence. We're on the northern edge, which is uh, flurries or zero to, I would say, question mark, because I have no idea. So let's get to the forecast tonight. We'll be dropping down teens and 20s. Friday will be sunny and cold. We'll see increasing clouds late in the afternoon. On the, uh, south. We'll also have drier air coming down from the north, so temperatures will be in the 30s, a little milder than today. Winds will start to pick up later as we go uh, through later Friday evening, Friday night. The night we're in the teens and the 20s. Saturday, sun and clouds in the morning, increasing clouds. Um, actually, I'm going to say that. Saturday, mostly cloudy in the morning. We could see some ocean effect snow parties coming in offshore with an east northeast fetch starting to pick up as that storms off of um, uh, the Carolinas, OBX, and uh, really pummeling uh, the mid Atlantic states. Uh, they're really going to get, we're going to see a lot in the news down there for uh, coastal flooding, high winds, and a lot of two to three epic feet of snow, believe it or not, down there. We had our big snow season last season, so now it's their turn. Well, let's not write it off yet because as that storm starts to move out Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday morning, it may want to jog a little north or northwest, and if it does that, all bets are off. We get an arm of uh, heavy moisture that comes in off the ocean, and again, with that northeast fetch, winds gusting 35 to 45, a lot stronger down the Cape, uh, south coast Cape and the islands, and very strong down the mid-Atlantic. They could gust a hurricane force. I'm not calling hurricane force up here at Cape Ann, but again, it's a big storm. We'll keep an eye on it for you, and check the Gloucester Times Daily website uh, just in case they put an update on there for you. I'll watch it. It's a tough one, guys. Hang with me. For now, I'm Pete Vasco, Gloucester Times Weatherman. Have a wonderful weekend, and go Patriots! Bye-bye.